Hey there everybody, from the internet, this is Tofu Ace, here to help you melt the face off from your enemies. Today I want to cover one last foundational piece on how an airplane acts before diving into actual maneuvers and tactics later on in other videos. Remember, these foundational pieces will enable us to understand later concepts more readily, and any way to make getting barbecue easier is of the utmost importance to this guy right here. So let's get into it. Alright, when we think of aircraft, speed and altitude are very important. If you don't have enough speed, your plane will fall out of the sky, since your wings generate a lifting force due to how air moves over them. Altitude is important, for many reasons also, but for today's lessons, we are going to focus on how it can, in a way, store up speed for you. Knowing the interplay between speed and altitude will allow you to read an aircraft's amount of energy. So energy is a primary factor in controlling and maneuvering an aircraft. The total amount of energy one has is made up of speed, altitude, and mass. So a plane flying at low altitude really fast will have the same amount of total energy as the same plane flying high up yet slower. Knowing when and how to switch between speed and altitude in the most efficient manner makes aircraft and air combat much more like a chess match when you are fighting a worthy opponent. This is why, even today, designs for fighter aircraft favor energy retention and thrust, or engine power, along with highly trained pilots over simply building a plane that can, you know, roll over on its side and outturn anything. This is also why we are not still flying triple-winged aircraft with amazing amounts of lift and control surfaces, right? This is energy fighting, baby. So this all boils down to an aircraft's energy state, or total energy, or energy package. All of which are known to me as barbecue procurement factor. Very important, remember this. Alright, so when we talk about energy, we are generally talking about speed which is also known as kinetic energy. We just dropped that big old intimidating word kinetic. So this is a function of a fighter's mass and speed, right? With altitude, we think of it as potential energy. Emphasis on the word potential. This is a function of mass, gravity, and altitude. Blah, blah, blah. Yes, gravity. You can use Earth's gravity in your favor, right? It's like when you're in a car and it rolls down a hill. Gravity is pulling on your car and you pick up speed. So the reverse of this is also true, right? It takes energy to climb up a hill. In doing so, you gain altitude. If your engine is not powerful enough, you will slow down. But once you start driving down the other side of the hill, you will gain your speed back. This is why we call it potential energy. You are investing your speed and engine power, or thrust, into altitude, which you can later use. So if you're an attacker and you have a lack of energy, you may not be able to get into range to shoot down an enemy. Too much energy, and it will be easy to get into range, but hard to maneuver for a shot. And you might e even end up flying past your enemy, leaving your back exposed to attack. This is the classic uh, predator becomes prey situation, right? Thus, knowing when to use speed and when to use altitude will enable you to position your aircraft exactly where you want, and when you want, in relation to your enemy. This will enable you to set up uh, an offense, or even defensive maneuvers, as you engage in the fight. When you are really good, you will even know how to use the enemy's superior energy against them, and even force them to lose energy and to keep your own. Turning the tide of battle in your favor, right? As always, I hope I didn't make this subject too simplistic, in trying to convey the ideas behind what we discussed. There's a lot to think about in air combat, and this boils down to much more than knowing a cool move or two. Energy, pursuit courses, and the like, it's knowledge that we can apply to enable us to help us choose which maneuvers to later employ against our enemy. All for the promise of barbecue. <laughs> Alright people, I am Tofu Ace, and thank you for taking the time to watch me ramble on in this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more like this. Also, if you're looking for a fun online gaming community to join, check out the links below in the description. 
and join Midnight Squadron. All right, laters.